how can a mantra help me? Well, the Dalai Lama is certainly an authority on meditation, and he says that without the use of mantra, enlightenment is impossible. So uh, he obviously thinks it's tremendously important and very helpful. Uh, I'm not as qualified as he is to say whether it's impossible to get enlightened without a mantra or not, but I certainly agree that it is tremendously important and it's a central part of the practice that I teach. Not everybody uh, in different styles of meditation uses mantra. Some people wouldn't agree that mantra is important, but uh, it's certainly um, central to the, the yoga-based and the tantra-based traditions that, that I'm familiar with. So how does a mantra help us? How does it work? Firstly, it gives you something to focus on. It's, uh, it's pretty much uh, impossible to sit down and just try and still your mind or try and stop thinking without having a focus for your attention. So the mantra gives you something to focus on, it's something to replace all of the chatter and kind of useless thoughts. So you've got uh, a point of focus. Now a mantra is a sound, it's a word or a phrase, usually in the Sanskrit language. And the mantras are selected because they have a particular resonance that helps us to go into a deeper state of mind. It actually leads us into a deeper state of consciousness. So the sound of the mantra is very important. It's easy to appreciate how sound resonates with our nervous system or our chakras and induces different feelings and emotions just by thinking about music. Think about the you know, feeling you get when you maybe come home from work and you're really tired and you put on your favorite piece of music and within a few seconds your state of mind is completely different. Your mood is changed entirely. Sound is very powerful in the way that it can affect our emotions and state of mind. So we use that uh, effect through mantra to bring us to the state that we want in meditation. The other part of a, a mantra, of any word, is that it has a meaning. So any word has a sound and a meaning, and the meaning of the mantra is also very important. And this uh, utilizes this principle that it is sometimes referred to as the power of positive thinking. In yoga we attribute this saying to Shiva, the, the first father of yoga, who lived about 7,000 years ago, and he said that as you think, so you become. So whatever we focus on, our state of mind will tend to become like that. And uh, I sometimes think of it as um, like your, your thinking is creating a kind of a groove. Uh, the more you think in a particular way and keep thinking the same way, you'll create a groove which gradually becomes the default for your thinking, like a stream of water cutting a channel and then after that the water automatically goes into that same channel. So whatever you focus on and keep focusing on in your meditation will, will become the default for your, your thinking gradually. So you want to focus on something very, very positive obviously because you try to achieve a more uh, enlightened state of mind, a happier state of mind, something more deeply peaceful that, that you want to be and you want to exist in for, for indefinitely. So. Uh, the meaning of the mantra, the type of meaning, should always be something tremendously positive and uplifting. So the mantra uh, uses these two uh, qualities, the, the sound of the mantra and the meaning of the mantra, to help to take you much deeper in your meditation. And it can be very, very powerful.